years. And, you know, it's really possible to create things in real life today that people kind of only dreamed about in fairy tales. is a fashion collection that uses technology, math, and science to sort of make the impossible real. I have a background in apparel design, but I also was always sort of interested in electronics and had originally intended to be a mathematician. I think that a lot of girls have limited their options when they were younger because they didn't see what could be done. But the fashion industry is really neat because it actually uses a lot of math in it. The technologies used for the fairy tale fashion collection are deployable structures, electronics, and inflatables. A deployable structure is a shape that changes easily. An example is an umbrella because it's very small and then you can open it and it becomes very big. Part of the fairy tale fashion project was open online for the public and they could send in ideas for what sort of magical fairy tale fashion they wanted to see. And one of the things that all the little girls wanted, because they all really liked Twilight, is they wanted something that sparkles, because one of the characters sparkles a lot when he's in the sunlight. Electronics were sort of the perfect solution for that, especially LEDs. Creating the actual circuit design was pretty difficult because I wanted it to be visually appealing, but at the same time, you can't have different conductive thread wires touching, you don't want a short circuit. You actually have to make it a real circuit like a circuit board. For the deployable structures, we made a whole bunch of paper models we use the laser cutter to kind of score these models and we get the exact pattern printed onto the paper. And they're translated into fabric patterns and then sewn into fabric as pleats. There's actually two different types of circuits in the electronic parts of the clothing. There's the twinkle pad and this makes clothing sparkle and twinkle based on sound. The other things have accelerometers in them, and they're controlled by motion. But the more you move, the more the garment lights up. But the drivers are pretty big, and they needed a special housing. So we 3D printed these custom housings so that we can house all the electronics inside and kind of encase them. Part of the purpose of this collection was to show girls that there's some really interesting stuff out there and just encourage girls to join the science and technology world. I just wanted to extend the way that girls think about technology and science instead of just seeing it as a functional thing. It can be something that makes things from their imagination come true.